Welcome to CrushTheStreet.com's weekly market wrap up. The top story of the week focuses on Coca Cola, one of the most iconic corporate brands that is synonymous with both free market capitalism and the intangible virtues of the so called American way. Analysts from Nomura Securities raised their share price target from $51.50 to $54, suggesting that the world renowned soft drink manufacturer has the potential for a leveraged buyout in a similar vein to last year's Heinz acquisition by Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway and 3G Capital Management. Should such a deal take place, Nomura estimates that a share price target of more than $90 is reasonable and that under an LBO, a revitalized Coca-Cola could potentially quadruple its market capitalization, which currently stands at $180 billion. This may be welcome news to long-term investors who recently took a hit in their portfolios when Coke's most recent quarterly performance showed a drop in earnings per share by 11.1% against the same quarter a year ago. The company has slogged through a declining trend in this key metric throughout much of this year, a victim of revenue underperformance against the industry average. Share price dynamics became particularly volatile in mid to late October, losing 6% of valuation on the 21st. As it stands, Coke is barely in the black year to date, up around 3%. The rumors of a leveraged buyout or an attempt by employees, management, or investor groups to purchase an organization primarily through borrowing is not the first time interesting undercurrents have placed the beverage maker in the limelight. A few months ago in June, Warren Buffett squashed speculation forwarded by money manager David Winters that Coke would be taken private. Prior to issuing the controversial statement, Mr. Winters had sent letters to the company's key shareholders, board of directors, and Buffett, criticizing management's 2014 equity plan as a path that would lead to an erosion of the company's per share valuation. At the time, the market responded positively towards the speculation, sending Coke shares higher before a sudden wave of selling pressure in July temporarily caused prices to go negative for the year. Recent activity suggests a repeat of the swing trading opportunity. In the derivatives market, unusually large volume of call options were acquired for the November 7th expiry with a strike price of $41. Further out, there was substantial demand for the January 45 strike calls, suggesting that the big money players are gambling for a quick turnaround in sentiment. With so much keen focus on the iconic brand, everyday investors may want to place Coca-Cola as a primary consideration. In financial news, the domestic market shot up on strong U.S. growth data and hawkish statements from the Federal Reserve indicating a sooner than expected rate hike. The Dow Jones Index benefited the most, adding 221 points to close Thursday at 17,195 while the S&P 500 gained nearly six-tenths of a percent to come inside six points of the 2,000-point threshold. The equally strong performance of the dollar sent the precious metals complex tumbling, with gold dropping just below the critical $1,200 support level, while silver hit four-year lows, closing at $1,657. Palladium took another hard hit, sliding nearly 2% to 783 on the ask. On the digital currency front, Bitcoin managed to hold just under the $360 mark throughout most of this week, although the optimistic economic data did drop the currency down slightly to $343 at last count. And that'll do it for this edition. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.